He fronted the coroner's court last month, but Constable Zachary Rolfe's time in the witness box was cut short. Is there anything that you'd like to say to a claim of penalty privilege taken to the Supreme Court temporarily excused him from answering any questions about text messages or use of force. Constable Rolfe and his colleague, Sergeant Lee Bowens, argued officers couldn't be forced to answer questions which could lead to disciplinary action within the police force. The coroner had ruled they could be compelled if given a certificate which protects inquest witnesses from self-incrimination. After two days of complex legal argument about the correct construction of the Coroner's Act, Justice Judith Kelly has ruled against Constable Rolfe and Sergeant Bowens. The one construction I consider to be untenable is the one advocated by the plaintiffs. One cannot discern a legislative intention to partly abrogate the important and fundamental privilege and to leave intact the less important but related penalty privilege, Justice Kelly wrote. That would be an absurd result. The Supreme Court essentially saying police and others can be compelled to answer questions even without the protection of a certificate. If any party to the proceedings wants to appeal Justice Kelly's decision, they have until about the middle of January to file the documents. At this stage, the inquest is set to resume in Alice Springs at the end of February when Constable Rolfe is expected to be called to the stand. It'll be months after that before Coroner Elizabeth Armitage will hand down her inquest findings. Earlier this year, Constable Zachary Rolfe was found not guilty of any offence related to Kumanjai Walker's 2019 death. Melissa McKay, ABC News.